A blessed morning everyone. Isang pagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. I just want to tell you guys that I just woke up from a uh, terrible but biblical, biblically true dream. So ako po ay nagising sa isang panaginip na uh, terrifying. Something to be uh, worried of. But it's also something that is biblical. And uh, I, I want to share to you, not to inflict fear, but to uh, share the word of God and uh, how this dream relates to this uh, biblical prophecy. So uh, just a brief introduction. If you have not gotten to my channel yet, I am <coughs> uh, Brother Jomar. I'm an ordinary man. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am working as an associate professor in a university. I am also a science researcher. So uh, this means I know how to differentiate something that is real and something that is uh, fancy or a fairy tale. So everything that I will tell you is based upon my personal dream and experience. So uh, another background that I want to tell you is that uh, I met the Lord three years ago. So before that, I was uh, living a sinful uh, lifestyle. I love to study. I love to uh, win awards, compete, uh, and so on. Every uh, anything that is uh, related to academic success, I love it. But at the same time, I was also sinful. Uh, I have a sinful nature. I uh, previously love uh, uh, doing things in the flesh that are an abomination or uh, uh, disgrace to the Lord. So, uh, ako po ay uh, isang uh, <clears throat> ordinaryong tao lamang. Uh, ngunit nakilala ko ang Panginoon uh, tatlong uh, taon na ang nakalipas. So, bago po yun, ako po ay maraming uh, mga ginagawang hindi maganda sa harapan ng Panginoon. Now, after I met the Lord, uh, He showed me my life, my sins. Uh, he also said that all the things that I have accomplished, I have a bachelor's, master degree, magna cum laude, doctorate degree, magna cum laude, these awards, the Lord said that these things are useless, they are meaningless because I had not known Him but praise God, uh, when He showed me my life, how far I was from Him, and that uh, my soul is about to be thrown to hell because of all the filthy things that uh, I've been doing. Uh, he showed me this in a, in a screen, in a vision, and uh, I acknowledged, I repented for all of my sins. And the Lord is faithful. I felt His love and forgiveness. And I felt that I was completely forgiven. Praise the Lord. So I met Jesus Christ. I allowed Jesus to enter my heart. And ever since, uh, I've been pursuing a life pleasing to the Lord. So uh, <clears throat> a month after this, or a few months after the ex this experience of salvation, I have been receiving dreams about the rapture. So if you are going to check my other videos, kapag titingnan niyo po yung channel ko, if you're going to check my channel, I have like uh, a couple of rapture videos that I have been dreaming ever since 2017. And the latest was, uh, I think, two months ago, uh, this year, 2020. But today, uh, today is August, uh, I'm sorry, October um, 20, year 2020, uh, I received a clear and a very vivid dream about the tribulation. So, uh, it's uh, the great tribulation. And I want to try to summarize this as uh, brief as possible. And then uh, I'll let you know and I'll read the scripture to let you know that this is really something so biblical. So in my dream, uh, I wrote it down here. Um, I was in a suburban place. Well, actually, that is where I work uh, here in the Philippines. 
it appeared like it's a normal day. So people are doing their thing, their transactions, their regular day-to-day -day activities. But all of a sudden, we look at uh, a mountain top and we saw that it turned red and smokes uh, appeared in this our uh, red colored mountain top and uh, it uh, it seems like it's about to explode uh, because of this uh, it triggered and it caused panic to all of us who were there at the moment and then the sirens began to blow uh, they have alarmed the fire stations to be prepared and uh, called people to uh, evacuate and all of a sudden this mountain top exploded like crazy it, it was so strong and uh, we saw how the lava and the magma flowed down so uh, a lot of people ran to uh, every direction they're all in 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 panic uh, and it wasn't long after another mountain top again appeared red and the smokes began to come out and then it, it, it exploded once again and then uh, we saw it one by one a lot of mountain tops uh, began to turn red and they uh, exploded vehemently so we ran and hide we tried to look for places to hide we saw that uh, uh, these uh, houses uh, several houses were covered with uh, with uh, lava, magma, rocks falling, and so on. <clears throat> and uh, we were trapped in a place. We, so there are other people as well, children and other adults. And the only remaining thing that we can do is to pray. So we prayed until uh, suddenly it turned dark. So I assume that uh, a rock fell on us. And on that place, uh, the people with us, all of us died and when I woke up it was the same scenario I saw the sky uh, no, I saw mountain tops they begin to turn red and they're again about to explode so then I finally woke up and in a uh, in great awe and in tremble I woke my mom up and uh, I asked her to pray with me and uh, uh, we prayed uh, that uh, a lot of people will still be safe before this uh, great distressful thing will happen. Now, I just want to tell you that um, uh, during the beginning of this year, 2020, the Lord again spoke to me uh, and uh, he gave me a new... Uh, outreach ministry he told me to uh, evangelize and preach repentance and and salvation to the streets in Baguio City it's a uh, it's a city in the Philippines so I started doing that uh, like a month ago and uh, I can see that people are responding both physically and online so I'm I'm also uh, the Lord is uh, urgently prompting me to do it regularly, so I do it regularly. But I'm still working as an associate professor in a university and as a researcher. Um, and this is what the scripture is telling us about that day. So I'm reading from the King James Version. It says in... Um, Matthew chapter 24 verses 21 and 22 For then shall be great tribulation such as what was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be So there shall be a great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be So it will be a uh, very very stressful distressing terrible time of judgment of god and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened because i 
I saw on that dream how ter terrible it is. It's just uh, one plague. I mean, uh, um, one natural disaster, uh, volcanic eruption. But if we will put this together with the other plagues mentioned and uh, other disasters mentioned in the in the book of Revelation, you will see that there are a lot of plagues and disasters. And if you put this together, uh, just a very few remnants or people will be spared. And uh, I believe in the uh, pre tribute uh, uh, pre uh, pre rapture pre tribulation rapture. I believe that uh, God will uh, will uh, rapture His bride first before this tribulation period to escape the judgment. You may have a different perspective on that, but that is what I believe. Uh, and I have uh, biblical references for that, but please let us not argue on this uh, subject. But I think the dream is so biblical and it serves as a warning to us who believes in the Bible as the inerrant word of God to please continue sharing the word of the Lord because a lot of people are still lost. There's a reason why God has placed in my heart uh, this ministry to share the word of God in the streets of Baguio, Philippines because uh, I, I strongly believe in my heart that he is coming the soonest to take his bride first before he would pour out the judgment, the tribulation here on earth. So I pray whoever you are who are uh, watching this video right now, all of these things, we are in uh, uh, we are approaching the uh, the end uh, days, though the Bible says that we don't know when the Lord will return. But um, uh, there's a reason why He has given a lot of people uh, dreams and visions of these last days, of what's going to happen in these last days, to wake our faith up. And uh, um, if the Lord returns, may He... Uh, find us awake and not sleeping not physically but in faith and if you don't know Jesus yet this is high time this video is also for you it is high time for you to acknowledge that you have uh, fallen short of the glory of God ask for forgiveness for the sins that you have committed and accept Jesus Christ because he died for you and me and then on the third day he rose again to redeem us in the sinful world because if you will not accept Jesus and if you if you will not live according to his will uh, you might not be taken in the rapture and you might experience this great dreadful day of tribulation so uh, I pray that uh, the Holy Spirit would uh, speak to you uh, naway ang banal na espiritu ng Panginoon ang uh, mamalagi at kumausap sa iyo kapatid upang ipaunawa na ang mga bagay na to ay totoo all of these three things are true biblically uh, accurate and that uh, because of God's mercy and grace we are still alive and we still have time to repent and return to Him forsake our wicked ways and return to him and he will abundantly pardon i love you jesus loves you and i want to end this with a prayer oh heavenly and mighty father creator of the heaven and the earth here we are oh god believing that you are sovereign you're alive and you know what's going to happen in the future we don't know what the future would bring but we fully trust in your word because you are faithful in truth to everything that you say. Speak to the heart of the viewer of this video. Let the Holy Spirit convict and touch the heart of the person watching this. To repent of our sins. Repent for all the wicked things that we have committed. And forsake these things. And accept your son Jesus Christ. Because we know, oh God, we can feel uh, that your coming is near, that we are approaching the evil days, and spare us, O oh God, 
when the trumpet sounds, may we be included in the rapture and not experience this great tribulation. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, O oh God, and uh, bless us. We thank you, God, for everything, for this gift of life, for the million opportunities that you are giving us to repent. And here we are repenting of our sins, and we accept your Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, may, uh, may this warning be instilled in the heart of uh, all believers and even the non-believers to wake up our faith always in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.